recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA. It's the William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery and the devious Casey Rocket. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Jr. Dancers. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Casey Rocket. And now here he is, the big red machine, the Memphis Strangler, William Montgomery. <sighs> when did you wake up? <laughs> uh, 45 minutes ago, maybe, like 12.30 or something, an hour. Oh, did you? Yeah, slept a little late. When did you go to sleep? I was up, uh, I was up late, uh, maybe 4.30, maybe. Yeah. Oh my gosh! What were you doing, watching stuff? Yeah, I was watching this show called The Terror. Uh, it was an AMC show about how it was about the search for the Northern Passage. How like the Franklin expedition got stuck in ice in Antarctica, the British people, and then mm -hmm. it's a true story, and they all ended up kind of like dying out there. But in the in the show, they're haunted by a giant uh, <laughs> Inuit monster. <laughs> Yeah, who kills them? It's a really good show. It was really good, but then I then I was up much later than that. Once I finished it, researching famous failed expeditions, and were there some good ones? Yeah, there was good. The damn the Nova expedition, of course. Percy Fawcett and got lost and looking for the lost city of Z. Yeah, wait, really was good. that the Nova expedition? <laughs> that was a different one. Percy Fawcett got lost in the uh, like Ecuador or something, looking for a lost city in uh, the Amazon jungle. It was never found. Is that what Congo is based off of? Remember Congo? Maybe. They end up finding a lost <laughs> village with like diamonds in it. Wait, is that the one with the the gorilla who has like lasers or something? The Congo? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Laser. Amy hungry. <laughs> There's the gorilla that they attach the hand thing to, and she can communicate with the people. Yeah, laser gorilla. Yeah, yeah. I've been down that road. Yeah, it started, well, like, at, like, 4 a.m. every night, I'll research stuff, and I'll be like, dude, I gotta do more exploring. And then, <laughs> and then I'll wake up, and I'm like, what am I gonna go explore? <laughs> yeah, I wonder if there's any buried treasures or anything in Texas here. Hopefully, yeah, get out there on the prairies and yeah, <sighs> do a little seismic scanning. Oh, there's Amy drinking a martini. I think, yeah, Amy <laughs> had a drinking issue. She was with yeah. It, the It guy. What's his name again? Skarsgård? Steph Curry? Or Curry? Stephen Curry? Steph Curry. I think, oh, yeah. that guy. Yeah. What's his name, Grant? Do you know? Uh, Tim Curry. Co cousin? Is? Tim, Tim Curry. Curry. Yeah. Tim Curry. Yeah, yeah, he's in that. I think he's Amy's master. <clears throat> uh, I bet. What a jerk. Yeah, 100%. That's awesome. Just bossing her ass around, giving her, giving her martinis in the jet. Amy, hungry. <laughs> and then he gives her martinis. <laughs> it's not good. Amy, want food. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about on Friday, we did Rocket and Friends at Creek and Cave, and I thought it would be funny if I went out there. <clears throat> I got to stop doing this thing, but I'll, I'll go out at the beginning of the Rocket and Friends and I'll do some bit, like I'll sing a song. And yeah, in my head, I'm like, oh, that's what people want to see. Like, they want to see me, like, you know, maybe I'll put the Grimace suit on. So. And, and what did you do that one I did at the Creek of the Cave? You read something about the future. Oh, yeah. Well, it's fine if I do like a big, sometimes I'll do like a big speech off stage. And then sometimes I'll do it on stage too. And, and they kind of like that. Yeah. But every once in a while I'll open it with a song and dance that everyone just fucking hates. And there was like 200 people there and I put on the Grimace suit. That's and great. I, I sung Bear in the Big Blue House. And it was totally, totally silent for 90 seconds. And everyone was just staring at me. No one made a single noise. And I was like, oh, see my. you very soon, I know. Is that what the song is? Yeah. Yeah, I remember the show, but I can't think of the song. Well, that's fun. That's good you did that. They probably liked it. It probably did set a good tone for the rest of the freaking, how the whole Maybe. show go. The whole show was, went good, but. Yeah, it just felt weird to go up there and just like, oh, let me go bomb real quick. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's brave. Casey, that is brave. It's very brave of you. It really is. I guess. 
This is just a bad precedent. I don't think you should start your show by bombing and then you, and you have to come back up later. So. Does it negatively affect your psyche? Do you get into your head at all after something like that? Because I feel the fear with my crazy yeah. asses. If so, I don't know. I could end up getting in my head and be like, oh, my God, you're about to fuck everything <laughs> up after this. is about to be. A d-. Do you think that at all or it's totally fine? Yeah, that time, uh, you know, when I did it on Friday, I think that was a good breaking point. I think I was like, all right, I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done uh, going yeah. out there and singing before the show in my head i thought they'd all be excited like oh my god it's this guy we came to see for sure he's singing this song really really good but well it could have just been a bad crap i don't know it could have just had a bad day yeah it could, everybody could have had a bad day i mean i'm trying to think of what i i ended up being with my brother selden i think he's moving here which is exciting yeah yeah it should be good we found some place kind of close to where we live you found him an apartment yeah, well, he fa- he found it. We both found it. He's getting uh, one where we walked in at the beginning and all the sinks are running full blast because we had the <laughs> master key. So we wa- he looked on just apartments.com and we found a couple to look in that yeah. the lady didn't tell us about because she we think she was saving it for one of her fucking buddies, <laughs> one of the apartments because it's pretty nice. Uh-huh. And uh, we walk in the other one that's next door that's the exact same thing and it was just a weird energy and all the sinks are going full blast. I don't know if it's from weeks ago when it was oh, cold wow. outside. Nobody had just been in there, and it was kind of eerie. But luckily, we went back the next day, and it seemed okay. Inner, it seemed much better in there, so we might do that. Like it's, you thought it might have been like haunted or something. It was. A, I swear to you, Casey. We both looked at each other, and I knew he was thinking it's a weird energy, <laughs> and it was. And I swear, it made it more eerie that all the sinks were going full blast in there. Yeah, that's not good. That's a bad omen for sure. And there was a notice on the door that said, oh, you drive a Chevy Cruze or whatever. Let me fix your airbag. It's going to kill you if it goes off. And I'm thinking, why? What? what? It just was strange. It's like, why is this note on the door? Why did somebody who works here not take it off? What's? <laughs> how did they know this person drove the Chevy Cruze? How did they know their airbag was that? Was that a recall of It the was car? a recall okay. of some sort. Uh, so ugh, who knows? But it, yeah, <laughs> things seemed better the next day. Once we got over the fact that she was saving the one apartment for fucking buddy. That's 100% what she was doing. Yeah. She's trying to undermine you. Bullshit. <clears throat> Apartments.com. What a racket. Mm-hmm. Just, it's like, you would think maybe something else other than just up. It's just apartments. Mm-mm. Did you think that was funny, Grant? Because I I don't think Casey did. I did it, and then you're. It was that you laughing, Grant, or that that's was not, the fucking not, idiots next door. What's going on giggling. over there? There's people uh, wrapping up in the other studio. People wrapping up. What did they do that was so funny? Where they're wrapping up? What are they doing? What they do? Tell us. I don't know. I wasn't listening. I was trying to listen to you guys. Busting a gut out there. I see. Yeah, maybe. Gosh, I mean, we're okay. <sighs> I was hoping we it have, was you. We have a lot of guest callers today. I'll tell you who's a guest caller. Kelly's Killer Popcorn. They sent me and William a couple bags of this delicious stuff. Queso Blanco, butter, classic butter. Woo! Spicy nacho. Yum! Woo! Wait, one is Queso Blanco, one is the butter? Classic butter. Those are the ones that I brought, but I got some at my house. You want to stop by? I got spicy nacho. There's like a <laughs> sarsaparilla caramel. I lost the caramel. I don't know what happened. Ooh, because that's good. That's almost like a mm. dessert when you yeah. have that kind of popcorn. And this shit melts in your damn mouth. We love Kelly's popcorn around here. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, thank you so much, Kelly. I'm very excited to try these bad boys out. And look at the graphic on the back. That is almost... Haunting. Yeah, it's haunting. Almost a little demonic, but I think it's fun. I think it's cool. It's some sort of killer popcorn, quite literally. They also sent me a t-shirt. Um, it's size Casey or else you could wear it. It's perfectly form fitted. I went to a tailor and it's super, super cool. And it's this monstrous popcorn. They also gave me a sticker. I put it on my laptop, but nice. It's a great, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Everybody loves freaking Mm. popcorn. Yum. Thank Mm. you, Kelly. Okay. (laughs) So it was size Casey. That's sweet. Just on the tag. It said Casey. Size Casey. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and then he, he he sent me like a little sewing kit, like in case I like gain or lose like fifteen pounds, like it, so I could you can tailor adjust. It. Cool, that's sweet. He yeah, gosh, so he does. Kelly does it all. He does mm-hmm. the shirts. He does the popcorn. Makes the stickers. The stickers are hand drawn. Stickers. Seriously? Yeah, on ad- adhesive tape. Yeah. Damn. 
So Kelly, you are sort of a supermensch. You are just you're doing everything, and you're it's all for the people, and we love you. We appreciate it, Kelly. And I think his dad is Kelly Blue Book. <laughs> yes, I think his dad. Yes. So I think he comes from money, but mm-hmm. it does. He's done a lot with what he was given. A lot of people can squander that mm-hmm. that money they inherit, but he's Kelly's really. No, he's invested in himself. Yes, that's what you have to do. If you're watching this and you happen to end up getting somebody dies, some long lost relative, and you get a bunch of money, invest in yourself. Yes, please. And give back to the popcorn community. Yes. That's what happened at Grant. Didn't you have a windfall recently, Grant? About with the, the Papa John thing? No, with the person that died in your house that oh. was like a relative or something. <laughs> the person, yes, the person who died. The housekeeper died and they quite left you money. Lucrative. Yeah, it's weird. It was the housekeeper. Yeah. What did she? <laughs> she fell down the stairs or something? Uh, I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> when Pure did freak she, accident? When Pure did she freak. sign the money over in relation to when she died? It it was very coincidental that it happened to be earlier that day. Okay. Oh, same day. It's interesting. Yeah, that's not going to look good. But whoa, <laughs> <laughs> same day. <laughs> uh, I'm. There's there's no evidence of foul play, so we're in the clear. That is yet to be seen. Yeah, I mean, so. when did this happen again? <laughs> so, uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, they could just be getting evidence. Or, yeah, I don't know. There's no statute of limitations on murder, Grant. I just want mm. you to know that. I yeah. I told them they could close the case. So I think they will. Mm, genius move. Tell the cops how to do their job. I'm sure you are 100% suspect number one, Grant, obviously. You guys think so? Yeah. Uh, I'd have to look at the case yeah. file, but I'm leaning towards you're definitely probably the only person in the suspect book. Yeah, I mean, who was at the house? You and John? It, actually, it, it wasn't. John wasn't there. It was just me. Okay. He's, so that's he's got an airtight bad. alibi, but... Uh, and I can't believe you let your daughters find the body. <laughs> that seems really <laughs> grim, Grant. Yeah, it, was a, it was a rough game of hide and seek for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. That, I mean, that was an old lady. They might not yeah. want to play again for a while. Yeah. Well, you probably ruined hide and seek for them. So. Yeah. All right. Finding Nemo. We get it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you put on after they found the body, Finding Nemo? Yeah. Like, yeah, this is a good coping movie. <laughs> Go play with your blocks. <laughs> gala Gala Island. Do you remember that? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, it was a Nickelodeon oh, show. Maybe. And I was reminded of it because the only one of the only surgeries at that time, the only surgery I had was my tonsils taken out. And in the room when you're recovering, Gala Gala Island was one. And it was recently on the TV and I asked Selden if he knew it and he's too young. He doesn't remember Gala Gala Island. Gala Gala Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they're. I think they are in Jamaica. I think they are on the big island, and it's these yellow <laughs> frogs and the peop, the folks from the. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this I have not seen, but I like that. Is he a little animated frog, or he is a? It's a. It's a suit. It definitely looks like a HR puff and stuff kind of suit. Gala gala island. There's a better image of him. Wow, he's gorgeous. I know. Yeah, it was a great show. Gala, gala, island. And... All right, let's do some yeah, callers. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a gala, yeah. gala, island shout out uh, real quick. <laughs> That's exciting. Well, I can't stop thinking about what I want to explore next. I was thinking some sort of rainforest is probably the only place that hasn't been explored. Metal detector or no metal detector? Metal detector, compass that is resistant to like sudden burst of solar flares so I don't get lost. Yes. Because how is your, if you were to get lost somewhere, what is your ability would you give yourself for being able to survive out there? Do you have a decent amount of experience with this or what? I think I saw in a movie once, if you have a, a cap of rum, and you put like some sort this of. Even whoa, whoa. Cody. Cody. Whoa. Cody. <laughs> <laughs> you this put a. Working, <laughs> Cody. If you put a metal cap in rum, it'll find true north. Okay, okay. So, so you just get a so, cap and you put the rum in there and then you'll be mm-hmm. able to. Okay. Find okay. true north and I'll navigate from there. Who's Willie the sneaky little snake with stinky socks? Oh my gosh, what a mouthful. <laughs> 
It, it, it's a quite hard name to have. It, it's really long on my birth certificate, and I lost it a couple times, and I tried to get it back, and they just didn't believe it was my full name. So at school, would you sit with the kids with the W last name or the S last name? I usually just left school to do things I shouldn't do. Mm, fill us in. Give us the yeah. dirt. Like fight your friends? Oh, I mean, I don't know, like a little bit of LSD, and then you get really <laughs> anxious, and you just want to leave. And you're yeah. Like, I, I'd rather be, like, hitting trash cans with my car than sitting in a fucking classroom for eight hours a day. Yeah, that's a sleeper thing to do on LSD <laughs> is running over trash cans in your car. That's really not going to put the anxiety in overdrive. I cannot, my anxiety would be through the roof if I was in a car in the first place, and then much less hitting yeah. garbage cans, because I'm probably going to go after people after that. And It's the next step. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it gets do. a lot more messy then, and then you got to make sure you got money for the fucking car wash, and then you got to do it yourself. And I don't have time for that either. So yeah, I mean that do it the do it yourself car washes. It's like how what yeah. I did never go. I didn't go to school for this. How am I supposed to? How do you get the top of the car? I'm not told. I that. didn't go to school because I'm on drugs. That's how we got into this situation. It's a yeah. Vicious cycle for sure. Yes, that's what happened to freaking Sugar Ray. What's mm -hmm. that main guy's name? Mark McGrath. That's what happened to Mark McGrath, dude. So be careful. That's what happened. Yeah, that's Mark McGrath's Ford uh, Escape. Escape, I, guess. I think, is what he had. It's a late two thousands model. Well, what's going on today? Are you having a good day today? Uh, I'm at the hospital right now. Hmm. Mm. For yourself or someone else? For work, but for myself. You're like, a nurse. I'm just getting paid to do the work. I'm not doing it for someone. <laughs> yeah, what are you, like an ER nurse, or what kind of nurse are you? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just got a bunch of weird shit in the back of this van, and I just kind of hand it to people. <laughs> what? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> do, you ever, <laughs> do you ever go through the boxes? What's in the boxes? Is it different? Oh. Is it pills? Like morphine? No, there's no good shit. It's all like me and plants and shit. Oh, boring. Yeah, Snorefest. Boring. I got some pretty good medical tools, though. Cool. Like, like what? <laughs> like drills and shit. And oh, like, boy. I don't know. I could probably put a few implants in if you need something done. I'd like that. Good to know. Yeah, my yeah. dad's buddy just got hit by some street racers in Memphis. Got hit on his bike, and he's 75, and he has to get a new hip now. Oh. Damn. Kind of what he gets for being in Memphis. So. Mm. Well, he didn't deserve that. Mr. Halseal didn't deserve that, uh, <laughs> Willie. So, but I hear well, you. Yeah, I mean, it can. You have to be on your listen. p's and q's. Where are you right now? I'm. I'm in. Fuck. I don't know. Like Granite City, Illinois. But I'm from St. Louis. And when I go downtown, if I get caught in crossfire, I don't complain. Like it's just part of the. <laughs> It's just part of it, you know? You go to Memphis, St. Louis, Chicago, shit happens. Is Nelly still huge in St. Louis? Nah. What a fall from grace. I, I can't believe that. I mean, he was like the king of St. Louis there for a little while. Dude had it all. Nelly, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne doesn't even have his house here anymore, apparently. I thought Lil Wayne was from New Orleans. I thought he was from Louisiana or something. Definitely. Oh, I, th I almost threw up. I'm sorry. Don't puke, my man. Yeah, no, I don't know all the medical equipment. Yeah, I don't <laughs> vomit. I'm going to get MRSA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, but anyway, but, oh, 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 oh. I was going to uh, puke. John sent me, Papa John sent me. He was like, tell Grant's bitch ass, I'm coming. I'm making pizzas. It's happening. He was really coked out, though. I've seen that. Yeah, we've seen him like that before. We were there last Easter, mm -hmm. and it was like he was yelling at us to find the eggs, yeah. and we're like, we're pretty sure you didn't hide any There's, eggs in Grant's backyard. wasn't a single egg, yeah. Yeah, back there a couple hours talking about exploring. I know. We're exploring for eggs that day, but <laughs> whatever. What are your plans for Easter? Uh, I mean, I guess I'll probably dye some eggs, and then, I don't know. Do you eat them? Hard boiled. I was just thinking about that. Like, I don't like to, but maybe this year I'll force myself to because they're good for you and I need the protein in my life. Yeah, man. Just start out with eggs and then you can 
chicken breast. Chicken, I think, has good protein. You can add all kinds chicken of stuff. Chicken yeah. yeah. All right. All right, <laughs> Willie, the sneaky little snake with stinky socks. It, that, it was a pleasure. Be careful at the pleasure. hospital. We love you. I'll try. I got to figure this. Oh, I got to call my boss. Yeah. yeah, figure out where you need to go. I'll figure it out. They'll be fine. They're just on the table waiting. Yeah, man. Just call your boss. He'll tell you where to go. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> we'll fucking we'll figure it out. <laughs> Time will tell, Willie. We love you. All right. Yeah, nice well, to talk to you. you. Goodbye, Mr. Rocket. Goodbye, Goodbye. Mr. Montgomery. Bye. Goodbye, Merry Papa. Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's not Christmas anymore. Yeah. I think he was drunk on the job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> delivering his stuff. He seemed a little too excited. I can tell when someone has a slight buzz on. I think he might have had like a couple fucking drinks. Yeah, he was smiling a <laughs> yeah. little too much. He almost vomited at one point. I'm pretty sure he was like drinking a little vodka in that Arizona iced tea. Uh, yeah, I remember that. I don't necessarily miss it, but yeah, you'd start drinking some, maybe take a shot or two at the mm-hmm. beginning and then just, oh, maybe you might vomit. But then you turn. keep it down. Keep it down. Just power through the first couple. The rest will be much tastier. <laughs> trust me. Mm. Well, LSD. yeah, that, that tenth butt ice. Mm. Butt ice would always get a little better each one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, the first couple are pretty bad. But, dude, an ice cold butt ice, I'm telling you, nothing goes down easier than an Woo! ice cold butt ice. <laughs> Especially on a nice summer day. Oh, yeah. Pool side, even alleyway side. So good. Yeah, last summer, I never get any urges to drink, and I really didn't this time, but I saw just a homeless man walking down close to the (laughs) interstate with just some, looked like a cold 24-ounce beer, and I was like, fuck. It's like the middle (laughs) of the day, like a nice day. (laughs) If you're anything like me, you're probably tired of jamming pizza in your jean pockets. Yeah, I mean, with me, the problem with my nightly... uh, Red beer and pizzas for sure <laughs> is what do I do? I generally like to polish off a whole pie, but if I don't, Casey, I swear I just start thinking, what do I do yeah. with these extra slices of pizza? I refuse to waste pizza. Yeah, and That's you gotta. I won't do it. I won't throw it away. This is no. a zero waste pizza podcast. When I get a home run in pizza and I have a maybe one slice left. I'm completely, I don't know who to trust with it. Not at all. And Casey, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm so happy. I swear to God, you brought up Home Run Pizza. I don't know if you know Home Run Pizza, (laughs) Ari, but Home Run Pizza is 100%, in my opinion, the best frozen pizza you can buy. It's so good. And we wish they were part of the podcast family, but fortunately we have this other person who's equally as good who's yeah, a friend now. Yeah, equally as good, if not a little better, just in just the insane, the industriousness, the <laughs> crazy idea come to fruition yeah. with the pizza hoodie pocket. We love innovation. We love pizza pockets. We love pizzapocket.com. Look at this. Let's show them how it works. Yeah, show him Casey. So basically, here, zoom in on Casey right here. He's doing it. Um, Pizza yeah. pocket right here. Front, it is fully governed with NASA-grade technology to keep the pocket, keep the pizza warm right in your pocket. I have a banana yes. in mine right now just because it's lunchtime, but at dinner time, yes. you better believe this thing's going to be full of home run in. So, yes, you put your pizza in here, and then look, it fits perfectly in here. So then uh, say you're at a Tool concert or something, and you took a little acid, and you start to get really hungry. You might start thinking, oh, my God, I'm going to have a really bad trip if I can't have something to eat right now. I mean, this Tool show is too loud. It's too many people. Smoke machines are going crazy. I'm starving. I'm really going to freak out if I can't eat something. But then you remember, because you smell the pizza smell coming from out of the <laughs> zipper, right, kind of right by your nose, you, you're like, oh, my gosh, I have pizza in this freaking thing? <laughs> Or imagine Totina's pizza rolls. You know how many you could fit in this? Probably 16, you the whole thing. You could fit a whole 16 Especially if pouch. you mush them. Which, yes. Like, you only <laughs> do that if you together. have too much. But sometimes you need to. You need to mush a bunch of rolls so you could fit more in. You could fit a bunch of Totino's. <laughs> uh, a couple stuffed crust pizzas from Pizza Hut. Yeah. 
You get meatball on there, whatever you want, and they got little magnet hooks. I know what you're thinking. How is the pizza going to be kept in there airtight? Magnet hooks. Magnet hooks. This is NASA-grade technology. Every pizza pocket hoodie includes a hand-washable, removable, insulated pizza pouch designed to fit snugly inside the zipper pocket and keep your pizza warm. Yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> you better believe as it As well as keeping warm. yourself warm because it's an incredible hoodie. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing that I'm just thinking about now. Say you're somewhere that's freezing cold and you need a little extra warmth. Put one of these bad boys on and put some steaming hot pizza. <laughs> and this is going to keep your chest area specifically <laughs> burning hot. Yeah, this is where the ventricles of your heart are that regulates all your blood temperature. This could literally be the difference between life and death. Uh, and Chris McCandless probably wishes he had yeah. one of these things when he was all sick in the freaking bad back in that thing out in the woods Mm -hmm. not only did he need warmth but he needed to eat something other than berries that are going to get his ass sick if he just had some pizzas in his pizza pocket shirt yeah chris mccandless would have lived he'd still be alive if he didn't eat those potato roots i'm gonna keep one of these for me and i'm gonna put one of these in my emergency services kit that i keep in my automobile and my house i'm gonna keep one in all the emergency kits really good idea say you're a outland firefighter Mm -hmm. you're fighting fires out in the middle of nowhere Use one of these. It's going to keep you not only really warm, but also when you get the munchies out there. (laughs) Say you're smoking some weed with your boys in between fighting fires out there. You're going to have some food to keep you company. Yes, the pizza will keep you warm. and And the cool look, it's going to keep you even warmer. It comes in this very cool sort of royal blue, or they got midnight black. Mi- yes, royal blue, midnight black. Uh, it's going to be a showstopper at any party, <laughs> any event, any time you're walking in to pick up your pizza from a pizza hut or something. Uh-huh. They're going to be like, oh, my gosh, it looks like you work here, dude. Yeah. Who's the new guy? Yeah, so things to think about when you're buying these things. So you need to go to the pizzapocket.com today, not tomorrow, today, and use code WMS for 10% off plus free shipping on the pizza pocket hoodie (laughs) (laughs) that's 10 percent off you heard him right 10 percent off plus free shipping with code wms at the pizza pocket.com pizza pocket the pocket for your pizza oh my gosh grizzly grizzly (laughs) how are you i'm doing good how are you guys doing uh, pretty good. It's uh, it's fine. All things yeah, considering, it's, it's okay today. What are you thinking about, Grizz? <laughs> yeah, what, what are you thinking what's about? What's on your mind, Grizzo? Uh, Tell us. Let us have it. Tell us what's on your mind. You look troubled, Grizzy. I'm trying to figure out how to stop eating the uh, five pound bag of lifesavers on the couch over there. Mm. Be careful. The best thing to do is not to have it around. I currently have a bowl of Reese's uh, eggs for the Easter-shaped Reese's, and I I smoke a little weed and start playing my stupid video games, and I start <laughs> chowing, and I cannot stop, Mr. Grizzly Wheeler. So I hear you. The best thing to do is not to have it around. What's your favorite uh, Starburst flavor? Mm, probably the uh, dark red one. Mm. Was that raspberry? I'm not sure if they ever labeled Starburst flavors. Wait, that's ch- that's cherry. Cherry? Yeah, I like cherry. <laughs> we love cherry. Yeah, what? we love. That's my favorite. <laughs> we love that, dude. Oh, probably my favorite is the uh, the buttered popcorn jelly bellies at Cracker Barrel. Mm. Speaking of buttered popcorn, Grizz, you're going to love this. This is Kelly's Killer Popcorn. It's classic butter. Yeah, we highly it's recommend. Very, very good this time of year. So what, here's an interesting question. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the uh, the the candies that you just described or actual popcorn? I think I like the candies better because you don't have to um, get uh, dental floss after you're done to remove all the shells out of your teeth. I know those kernels. <laughs> that's the only be- that's the only strike against popcorn in my book. <laughs> the is kernels. Those kernels, kernelless popcorn. You'd make a hundred grand in one year. Why has nobody invented that yet? I wonder. Yeah. Like, why isn't there like lab-grown popcorn that's born without kernels? What would you? Is that, in- is that is that AI that's triggering the backgrounds to match what we're talking? About? <laughs> it no, is. No. Yeah, yeah, Grant uses some AI. He uses Grant uses a robot assistant. Yeah. Um, 
It's and called, it, they're really quick. It's Goose Haven. Yes, Goose Haven. I think, uh, Goose Haven actually, I take it. I think the what was the what's the rum flavor of Lifesavers? Those are pretty addictive. Mm. Butter butter rum. Butter rum. I remember those. Mm. The dark brown. So good. Those are amazing. But I think Lifesavers quit making those. Yeah, I think you're actually right. Do, what happened? Charlottesville. I know. <laughs> God. <laughs> After Charlottesville, they discontinued the butter rum flavor. I don't know why, but. Because it was one of the best flavors. Yeah, it was sure. so good. And it was like, don't let them ruin it for all of us. And they had nothing to do with butter rum. Yeah, no shit. It was like Charlottesville. I've never even been to Charlottesville. You're never going to catch me in Charlottesville. No. And it's like, what, the whole community? It was like, was it everybody? Yeah, like, what if I had family there? Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's what people don't talk about. What if yeah. you did have family in Charlottesville? Yeah, what if I was going windsurfing in Charlottesville? Ugh, on those lakes. They do have those pretty lakes. Ah, beautiful lakes. Uh, well, Grizzly, where are you generally located, generally speaking? I'm kind of hidden down here in the uh, swamps of Charleston, South Carolina. Ooh. Cool. Ooh. Cobblestone <laughs> streets. <laughs> yeah, I hear it's beautiful there. I've never been. It is. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty cool down here. It's not too bad. I love it. That's <laughs> exciting. I think Grant used to live there. Long time ago. Lovely yeah, it's day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Grant lived there a long time. Seems ago. like a distant memory, doesn't it, Grant? I don't want to talk about it. I bet. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm originally from the least Florida part of Florida, Jacksonville. That's where I grew up, Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, by, by uh, Georgia Southern. Is Georgia Southern close to yeah, there? 45 minute drive. I didn't know Georgia Southern was that close to Jacksonville. Well, maybe Savannah's 45 minutes. Up to you, man. What do you think? Yeah, Chris? what do you think? F help us. About two hours and 45 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Up to you, Grizz. But back in the day when you're using the map quest, it's hard to estimate on that paper uh, versus these fancy new iPhones. I remember I don't know how to get anywhere now because I just put all the directions into my iPhone. I don't know how to get to the fucking podcast studio without putting my directions in my phone. Mm. It's sick. Yeah, we're twisted. It's pretty entertaining to think about what we would actually do nowadays if there was a real emergency and you lost your phone because I don't know any number to anybody that's close to me. Yeah. <laughs> Telephone number. It'd be a disaster. <laughs> well, hopefully you have some weapons. I mean, do you have – what if people start taking over where you live? Do you have some guns on you? I mean, you need you need to start thinking about shit like that. Mm -hmm. You need some sort of weapon probably. You need enough food for, what, a couple of weeks? Yeah, canned food that does not have any sort of lead lining on it. That's what happened to the Franklin Expedition. They all got lead poisoning. Mm. It's, fun. it's funny you mentioned that. A couple weeks ago, I cleared out Dick's Sporting Goods, and I have uh, slingshots hidden all over the property. <laughs> oh, nice. And I think slingshots can be deadly, but I think you have to hit somebody, like, right in the temple. I think you have to hit them in a – yeah. Are you pretty Remember good at slingshot? You, uh, Maybe. I haven't tested them yet. <laughs> you got to get out. You got to be a crack shot. Yeah, you got to start practicing. You remember, you remember the old school ones, like, where you had to stick your arm – and like the guard went over your arm, and sometimes they'd break and smack you in the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just slap the shit out of you. Yeah. <laughs> Leave a huge red fucking scar on your neck. It's like the most the most lethal. Jesus Christ, these backgrounds are impressive. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, we're on top of it. It's goosehaven.com. Yes. Yeah, goosehaven.com has some of the best AI assistants out right now. 1099 a day. Those, those slingshots were like, they were like lethal Stretch Armstrong dolls. You remember stretching those and then they bust <laughs> open. The corn syrup would go everywhere. <laughs> I remember. I remember poking a hole in my buddies one time when I was being real bad. And then I was like, oh, what happened? And then you're squeezing it. Yeah, what is that? Corn syrup? It's some weird liquid, it's, clear uh, liquid. It's probably melted butter rum lifesavers they just fill them with. <laughs> that's how they got maybe, rid of the surplus. Yeah, maybe that's what happened to them. Uh, Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, I had a big Frankenstein one. I just stretch him to to God's content. Ugh, just what? How many feet are we talking? Yeah, uh, four or five feet, maybe. Yeah. Damn. Step on one end, just drag his bitch ass as far as you can. You like that? I think they measure the stretching length in uh, jackalope, so it's probably about three and a half jackalopes. <laughs> I went to the Jackalope Museum when I lived in Wyoming. They had a Jackalope Museum, and there was actually, I think, the biggest jackalope they've ever found. It was a giant 
jackalope. It looked, it looks, they look like rabbits with the deer horns. With the antlers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't remember. Like I think I saw one of those. Uh, we went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. You know how they have like those gem mines like mm-hmm. around the area, and they had like a. So the jackalope is the rabbit with the horns. What what's a wombat? I can't. I thought the jackalope was the wombat, but a jackalope is the deer antler rabbit. Yeah, I think a wombat. That's it's just real like an thing. Australian real animal. Uh, I think. Oh, is that what a wombat looks like? Grant, what is that? That's the jackalope. <laughs> oh, that's Goose a... There you yeah, go. No, it's yeah. got a watermark. They're watermarking. <laughs> yeah, they're watermarking now. We got to get premium. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's a little embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, I don't know. But we're starting a Patreon, so hopefully it'll help. Yeah, yeah. It almost looks like a defective one, like that's growing out of its ears. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of sick. I was actually talking to my brother, and he said that his hearing was acting weird, and then he did something with his e- some cleaning ear thing, because he'd only used Q-tips, and then he did something, and there was a bunch of earwax built up in his ear, pressing up against his eardrum, and that's why he couldn't hear very good. Oh, no. And I, then I think I use Q-tips every day. Me too. It feels so good just to fucking shake them around in there. Do you put water on like, them? No, oh, no bullshit. Some, sometimes a little I, bit. I literally... Uh, about a month ago, there's this. They're on Amazon. I bought one of these things, thinking I had all this earwax, and they're little cameras that you connect the Bluetooth to your phone. They're like super. If you hit the algorithm right on TikTok, you just see tons it. of these videos where people are cleaning their ears out, and they make it seem like there's like a cork of wax in there. I had nothing in my ears after using Q-tips for like 30 years. So. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so maybe we're there. okay because I do think I look. I try to look in my ear and I think how. F- deep does it go back there it's like there couldn't be that much how many inches do you think it goes chris chris oh you can go all the way in there to your eardrum it's kind of freaky because you don't want to poke your eardrum but it has a they're like 20 bucks and it has a small bluetooth camera (laughs) and you can put scooper attachments on it to clean your eardrum out and you can you literally hold your phone while you're excavating your ear it's pretty freaky oh my gosh what if you accidentally hit your eardrum could you cause permanent damage like is it a dangerous thing yeah Yeah, i mean you get in there your eardrum looks like a a bubblicious bubble or something you just want to stay away from it Woo! gross i'd put it i'd put it where i'm not supposed to that little camera yeah i put that thing in my asshole i was immediately (laughs) thinking i stick that bad boy up in my butt see what i'm working with I didn't think about exploring any other orifices like my belly button. I'd like it if it was like one of those tune brushes that sings little songs while you brush your teeth. I'd like to just stick it up there and just have it just play Tracy Tracy Chapman Fast Car. Mm. Yum. Mm. I did drop a uh, a Sour Patch Kid the other day on my shirt, and I wonder where it went. It might be in my belly button. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Wait, so you dropped a a Sour Patch Kids thing on your shirt, and then you couldn't find it after? No, I could not. It was blue raspberry. This is my favorite. Oh my gosh. Was oh. it on where were you sitting? On a chair or on a couch <laughs> or something? I think it was on the sectional. What was I watching on Netflix? Well, mm. is it in the sectional? Did you check the sectional out or just wasn't there? I have no idea. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> well, you might find it later when you're cleaning. The out dogs would have sco- the the dogs would have confiscated it. I'm sure faster than I could have searched for it. So yeah, yeah do- dogs love goodies. Mm-hmm. They love blue raz. Yeah. Mm. Well, Grizzly Wheeler, it was a <laughs> quite the pleasure to uh, speak with you today. Thank you so much for calling. We need to maybe get those little cameras for the ears. Yeah, and Dude. only for the ears. It'll, no it'll freak you out. It's it's pretty wild shit. Yeah. Ooh. What the hell is in the top left up there? <laughs> oh, different types of belly buttons. What would yours look like, Grizzly? We out of one through six. What are we looking at for you? Number one looks like it's a curled up bicep or something. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's a classic Audi or something. Is it an Audi? Yeah, it's a Missouri method. Yes, probably the number six. <laughs> probably okay. number six. Number number four. I'm not Arabian, so. I don't think that shade matches my belly <laughs> button. I'm a number six, too, so I'm glad you said it first. I'm a number six. Yeah, I think I'm a number six, too. Hmm. Weird. Are we related? We could all be brothers, Chris. Six, 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 mark of the beast. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Grant's always talking about that. <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> all right, Grizzly Wheeler. Well, very nice to talk to you. Yeah, man. It was fun. It was great meeting y'all. Yeah, for Thank sure. You. you too. You're so funny. Have a good day. Bye. See you. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. <laughs> he was so calm. He was. At the very beginning, I was... I was thinking, is anybody going to talk? Because he needs to start. And then I was getting nervous. And <laughs> it caught me off guard. How? Because normally people seem a little like excited, and he was just like, kind of like, yeah, I didn't. Sweet, but very sweet. So, and Charleston, as good as they come. Yeah, we need to say hello to him if we're if we're ever in Charleston. Charleston has some of the best ghost tours in the country. Does it? Yeah, great carriage ghost tours. You're being pulled behind a horse, midnight. Cobblestone streets, lanterns on the side. You get a good host who's telling you a very spooky story. You're going to be freaked to the gills. Woo! Sounds better than the fucking dumbass yeah. when we went on here in Austin. It's about hauntology. <clears throat> Shut up with that bullshit. Yeah, it's weird. I was bringing on the next person, but they ain't joining. So, Bum. Is there a... Is John Papiawanu, is he calling by chance? John Pop. Yolano, let me see. Well, it doesn't matter, but I just thought if he was, he's a uh, just. I had a friend, Grant. His name, when I was in middle school, his name was Tony Papali. His uncle was Vince Papali, Invincible, the Mark Wahlberg movie about how the bartender plays for the Philadelphia Eagles. Really? And that was his actual uncle was the real Vince Papali. So what? Anything can happen if you put your mind to it. Did you ever? Uh, I don't believe. So. What? I believe it is. I you believe. Hey, you do you believe anything could happen if you put your mind to it? What do you believe in, Marv? Marv. Matt. Marv. Hey. Mavra. Hold on. Is that Grant? Is he misspelling? Huh? Let's see. Is your name uh, Mavra? Uh, yeah, he misspelled it a little bit. I misspelled. Oh it. my gosh! Sorry. Our apologies. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Our apologies, Marv. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Yeah, you too. How are you? Look at that stuff behind your head. What's going on back there? Oh, those uh, toys. Yeah, there's, we, got, we got all kinds of old tractors and stuff. <laughs> I, cool. uh, I work as a home health nurse for a guy, and his, uh, his dad has a big farm where he grows tobacco. And Are you at the uh, house right now? Show us around. Show us the guy. Show Is us he, the like, guy. sleeping? Where's the guy? <laughs> Yeah, he's there. He's he is. There Holy shit, he is asleep. Be quiet a little. Is he sleeping? Keep it down, Marv. Yeah, yeah it's kind of it's kind of been a rough day to be honest. Ooh. We had a we had a Sorry seizure this morning, so I had to deal with that. But oh he was God. okay. What's wrong with the guy? <laughs> Are you kidding? Uh, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> no. but something's wrong. No, no, he's fine. It's just where like the. Uh, when the seasons change, uh, he has a seizure naturally. <laughs> yeah, it it affects his epilepsy. Oh my gosh, right. that's sad. How old is he? Uh, he's forty. Forty. Oh, that's not that old. Yeah. That's close to how no. old I am. Williams almost. Yeah, I'm 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 thirty six, so we're we're about the same age too. So does that make it easier if you're about the same age as the person, or is, is it not? I I think so. Uh, we like to watch UK basketball together, and cool. I sit and make music for him, play guitar, and uh, what kind of just, music do you make for him? Uh, I make kind of like a, a break beat. Funk. It kind of just depends on what. <laughs> what's what do going you have on. something on your phone or computer where you can make the beat? Some beat machine? Dude, some Jocko yeah, Pistorius? Yeah. Today or well, I I've just I use <laughs> Ableton <laughs> and uh, actually this past week I've been making uh, kind of New Orleans sounding music because I went to Mardi Gras last week. Oh, cool! <laughs> you didn't get robbed, did you? Isn't it super dangerous down there around Mardi Gras? Oh no, we didn't get robbed, but it was wild. They had like uh, you see some bosoms. So we, went, uh, we did on Bourbon Street. Breasts. Uh, Woo! How are those things looking? Breasts. 
it's definitely a lot more family oriented than you would think. This yeah, I thought it's um, I thought it's beads. People throwing beads. I thought it was yeah. girls showing bosoms and beads being thrown. This ain't your grandma's Mardi Gras. Well, dude. it it is throwing beads. Um, so they throw beads, and there's like different parties. So they'll have iris, which is all women floats. Boring. And then, boo, then boo, there's uh, where my yeah, boy is at. Boo. Where my boy then there's is at? Old men tux. Hold on. <laughs> and, why haven't uh, you taken the Christmas tree down yet? Oh, because it's got all of our UK uh, Christmas oh, that's cool. Uh, oh, cool. ornaments on it. And that's yeah. sweet. Does it just stay up twenty all year? What was I yeah, trying to say? Twenty what? Twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four. Cool. Wait, can we hear some of the music? Wait, can we hear some of the music? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll Ooh. I'll start a wait. I've so what do we want? Here. A dance beat or a New Orleans beat or what? Let's just hear something. Yeah, whatever you okay. think. Here, just a second. Let me go to settings. <laughs> and I have to ask, this has been the kind of the elephant in the room for me since you got on. Is your actual name Marv Martian? No, my name is Marvin Marvin Puckett. My uh, oh, my okay. my my uh, moniker is Marv Martian for when I'm when I'm doing shows and stuff. Oh, with the music? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh, cool. Whoa. Are, are you DJ? Marv, Marv. Whose Coca-Cola is that? <laughs> That's a two-liter, Marv. Is it a two-liter or a simple 24-ouncer? Marv, what's the size of that? I think it's probably a good 16. Thanks. Yeah, it's brand. a regular Coke. <laughs> 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 I thought it was a damn two liter. I was ecstatic. I know. Huge two liter. Oh. <laughs> that was right. <laughs> Play that funky, funky beat. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Okay. A parade of just girls sounds awful. Yeah, I can't imagine. I need my boys in there. Mardi mm -hmm. Gras mask. Voodon, Carcosa type shit. Baron Samedi. Baron Samedi. Is that how you pronounce his last name? I don't know. I think the so. Bond guy. Yeah, I think so. You... Oh, we well, can put no. your phone right up to it. Put your yeah, phone can you right put your up, phone to, up to, it? to it. Are you pulling our like... leg? Are these binaural Marv? beats? Marv, there is no music, my man. Really? That's wild. Is it playing out of your computer? Maybe. Yeah, it's coming out of my computer. I see the guy moving back there, Marv. Is he okay? He's right behind you, dude. <laughs> I made you look. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got me, dude. Got me that right behind you. He's right behind you. Huh? <laughs> well, Marv, oh my gosh, I'm sad. I thought we were about to hear the freaking music, man. We can't hear any beats. You, you can't hear it? No, no. not at all. <laughs> like 0%. 0%. Zero percent. Well, maybe you have to keep it low because of the guy back there or something. Yeah. Is that what's going on? You might have um, some sort weird. of ducking on your Zoom. On your end, so oh, it's it, all good. It's uh, all good. Maybe some other. That's a very exciting yeah. though. We'd love yeah, to hear you it another put time. Some stuff though. I've got I've got a bunch of stuff on SoundCloud and a few things on on Spotify. On um, under Marv Martian. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. We Sounds good. That. How's Calipari? Is he going to stick around in Kentucky? <laughs> uh, well, it's <laughs> hilarious because like my friends and I like it. It's either. Hire cow or fire cow, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope he's. I'm sure he'll stay. He just signed a huge contract. He's going to stay, but Rupp Arena uh, is that the <laughs> that's the arena there for the oh, World yeah, Cups. yeah. I always yeah, loved Rupp watching is, the uh, Florida Gators beat y'all's ass in Rupp Arena in the 07 08 time period. I'm kidding. Kentucky's always really good, doing but it I think no more. <laughs> and y'all's football team Tennessee is pretty good now. Good though. Yeah, finally. Uh, yeah, I, I like to. I usually get season tickets for the football team. Uh, cool. I'm I'm really good about going to the first 
beginning of the season games, but then it gets too cold, and I'm like, I don't even want to stand out here. <laughs> For sure. Have you ever been to Danville, Kentucky, where uh, Keeneland? Or where's Keeneland? Do you ever gone to that? No, Ke- Keeneland's, Keeneland's here in Lexington. Oh, in yeah. Lexington. I remember getting drunk as fuck one, th- <laughs> one day there, listening to Radiohead, bumping Radiohead out at the car oh, speakers, yeah. getting drunk <laughs> as shit. <laughs> Just out and then I was driving, which wasn't good. But yeah, yeah, just out in the field somewhere and then watching some <laughs> horse racing. It was kind of fun. Yeah, I had we, a pretty good time. We'll have a big field party and then uh, everybody <laughs> will drink before they go in. And then, uh, yeah, then it's just it's a bunch of frat kids, essentially, like a reason to dress up. My parents, we have uh, we have nine horses yeah. and they had never been to Keelan before. And I took them back in August and uh or no, April last year. Y'all have nine really horses. Good... That's cool. Were they race yeah, horses? Tennessee... They're Tennessee walkers. So oh, my cool. family, they like to go trail riding and uh, hang out with hang out with their folks and go camping. My mom's cool. a horse trainer. She ha- she does Western pleasure. She does quarter horses. Okay. Thank you. Hey Marvin, <laughs> uh, can we play either wasting time with you or inside my head? Which one uh, would I play? Uh, <laughs> wasting time with you is pretty sweet. All right. Here we go. I just love that you're making these beats and helping the fella in the bed. Yeah. The whole time. Helping him sleep. Oh, yeah. They're real chill beats. The, um, I've... Uh, Is that you singing? No, it's just some samples. So I'll go, um, I'll get some samples from this uh, website called Splice, but I also have a extensive like jazz and blues collection where I'll take vinyl records and sample them and then uh, take like the high lows out where like I'll just have the vocal mids and kind of mess with those. Cool. It's Love good. It. Sounds nice. good. It's genuinely good, Marv. I like it. I appreciate it. I know it Thank really you. is. I had no idea. Just had no idea what to expect. It sounds very. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, <laughs> man. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Marv. Well, thanks so much. Very nice communicating with you today. And yeah, tell- you too, man. I'll see you in Louisville here in a couple weeks. Uh, my friend and I, we got we got priority seating for Saturday night, so we're really excited. Oh, to, cool. To see- yeah. Well, should be fun. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, should be a good time. All right, Marv. Hell well, yeah. Thanks for calling in, dude. Yeah, see you later. See you, see you Casey. See you, man. Have a good day. See you, man. That was cool. It's a good song. I know. It does sound good. And he was sweet. That yeah. was wonderful when you <laughs> pranked his ass. <laughs> I wonder if he just never gets out of the bed or something. I know. I, I mean, I imagined in my head, like, yeah, some bedridden guy. Or something. Yeah. That's what I was. <laughs> he's right behind you. Oh, fuck. He's gone. He looked and made his ass look. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't walked since 1952. Oh, oh my gosh. You Play said you got a buddy named John? Music. Yeah. Is, there... is it J-O-N? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't think. <laughs> okay, well. I'm bringing a John in. I don't know. We'll we could use a John right now. Yeah, John feels right right now. Let's try this John on for size. <laughs> I don't like that I said that. <laughs> oh, it's covered. Oh, there oh, it is. Hi, hi. It's my old friend, John. Grant, thank you so much <laughs> for getting John? John on. John, holy <sighs> shit. It's been, what, 10, 15 years? Yeah, I know. The last time uh, that I saw you, we were... Uh, Sponsored by Costco, right? Mm-hmm. Isn't that right? Yeah, 10, 15 years ago, there. well, I was working at the Costco, so that's oh, why, okay. maybe. But you're right about the mm-hmm. Costco. Oh, my gosh. Dollar fifty hot dog. You yeah, still have you those sampling. beautiful blue eyes, John. Holy shit. <laughs> I know, I know. I had them redone, actually. You got them even bluer? What? <laughs> I did, I did. From the LASIK people? Uh, yeah, but I got it through Costco. Cool. So, yes, Costco has more oh, yeah. than bulk buys with snacks. Mm-hmm. They have radios, they have televisions, they have eye services. Eye services. So, John, thank you so much for bringing that up. Not enough people know that they have a medical division. Mm-hmm. From the studio that brought you LASIK, 
<laughs> William <laughs> find them in Costco. Yeah, find them in Costco now. <laughs> still working Blue. there, William? I know huh? you were working there. Do I? Last week, you were working there still. You were doing the uh, the pizza roll samples, isn't that right? Yes. Mm. Oh my gosh! And I used to burn my mouth on those bad boys because I'd always be so hungry because I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have eaten the day before, and then I'd go in there and just right out of the microwave, just <laughs> right in my mouth. And But, yeah, I mean, it was a different time for sure. What were you doing then, John? Uh, gigolo. 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 <laughs> oh, my gosh, with those beautiful blue eyes, John. I'm sure you were making a killing then. I do, are you retired already? Uh, Yeah, yeah, well, it, it's. The burning when I piss got so fucking bad, dude. Like, I just had to give up on it. Yeah, every now and again, I don't know if it's a bladder infection or what that I have, but I don't and have never had any STDs. But every now and again, I will TT. It happened the other day. And again, and maybe it's because I've held it in too long or something. And I will TT. And man, every now and again, and luckily it's happened before, I'd be scared to death. I know it's fine. But every now and again, and it is a horrible feeling. Yeah. It hurts. I'll get a little soap down there sometimes, John. I'll use Dr. Bronner's uh, peppermint soap. It's basically 37 in one use. You can use it on basically anything, cleaning, bodies, hair. But I'll get it in my, my little hole down there, and mm. it'll really, really hurt all day. Mm. Is there so. a special way to get it in the hole? Is there any yeah. like tips you got? Sure. Yeah. Squeeze it open like a open wound and Yeah, you just gotta squeeze up at the top, mm -hmm. kinda squeeze up there and then it opens it. Yeah. Imagine it's like a little fish's mouth is what I try to do. Yeah, it looks like a sweet little fish's <laughs> mouth most of the time. <laughs> Yeah, I remember being kind of a little boy masturbating one time with shampoo, and woo, I'll never do that again. Uh-uh, big yeah. mistake. I know mm. what you mean, man. I know what you mean. Mm, mm, mm. So how are you doing these days? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. You know, I'm cool. driving the ice cream truck still. It's uh, going good. Love it. And you wear those caps behind you, I see, probably when you're in the truck. Oh, yeah, man, of course. One of course. for every day of the week. Yes. Do you still have all seven? Uh, fuck, I don't even know how many I've got, though. Orange, oh. gray, blue, blue. white. Yeah. yeah. The white one's real good. I like that white one. That's a nice cool. hat. That's a cool one, and that orange one is quite the pop of just orange. What are you drinking there? Uh, a little cerveza? brew that I made. You know, always been real fancy with the coffee, you know. I remember, mm. yeah. Okay, so homebrew. Okay, yeah, I were... I, think about that sometimes making that but then i'm worried i'm gonna make it too strong oh yeah so then i don't know then i do, then i don't end up making yeah. it so oh, there's a risk yeah so yeah. it's like i'm walking half a mile to the coffee store um both ways well where do you live these days john uh i am in illinois i'm in northern illinois about uh 45 minutes from chicago schaumburg no 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 uh near gurney gurney where? Yeah, I was Gurney. William at uh, at Zany's, but they wouldn't let me in because I'm not 21. So that's bullshit. Sack. And you didn't even. Well, you should have let me know. I could have told them how we're old buddies and everything. That's bullshit, though. You really? How long did it take you to get there? Uh, I didn't even try and get there. I just saw on the website they wouldn't let me in. So. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Well, good. Yeah, I wouldn't have fucking tried to go either. This. Uh, yeah, it's stressed out. Yeah, that stretch. Just thinking about it, John, it bothers me. I've been having a pretty nice day. I've slept in, mm -hmm. given kiss. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've been kissing Gator so much. I'm gonna have to start wearing chapstick. She's making my <laughs> lips chap now. I'm not even kidding. We were okay. kissing on the bed earlier, and I'm thinking, Gator, you are fucking. I'm needing chapstick, bitch. <laughs> You're kissing my ass so much, bitch. Yeah, it's got to be Burt's Bees or Vaseline or. Burt's yeah. Bees are bust around here. Yes, we're Burt's Bees. We're a Burt's Bees family. Burt's Bees is the shit. Yeah, I got one right here. <laughs> nice. Love it. That's a good stick. So yeah. are you in school? What are you doing today? Yeah, yeah. I uh, uh, got out of my uh, accounting class. Cool. You know, I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna go hit the weights. What school you go to? DePaul? No, no, I'm in community college, just saving up, so I'm not a hundred thousand dollars in debt. But. 
Cool. That's, yeah. I'm sure, a smart idea. Yeah, I think I'm now with the entrance close to half a mil in the fucking hole, and I'm starting to think there's some guy that drove his plane into the IRS building here in Austin, and I just I start thinking, like, I'm 500 in the hole. Where where do I go from here? Where does it stop? Where When do I stop? At what point do you get a Cessna and just take it right, just into, the IRS right into the fucking side of the thing? But we'll see. <laughs> well, John, it's a real pleasure. Again, it's been, I don't even know how long, so it's been it's so nice to communicate with yo ass again. Absolutely, man. This is, this is fucking wild. I didn't know this was real. So. Well, yeah. it's not real, so Grant's using oh. AI stuff, so it's actually a new protocol. Yeah, yeah, no, Casey and I are actually in the other room. We're what sleeping. you're seeing now is not, the AI has to, the camera has to be in our face in the other room, and then mm -hmm. so this actually isn't yeah. So you're kind of right, but it, this actually isn't us. Up, we're we're right in a here. state of stasis, basically. Yeah. Yes. It's from Goosehaven.com. Ketamine. Ketamine, Ketamine, Ketamine and Goosehaven. Yeah, Ketamine and Goosehaven. All right. Well, you know, William, give me a call. Casey, I love you, man. You guys are fucking amazing. I love you. Cool. Well, we love you, John. Stop it. Stop, man. For oh, real. Blushing again. Oh, fuck. We like you guys. Okay, we bye, like John. You. All right, see you guys. <laughs> bye. And little uh, thing there, I had never met John before in my life. What? <laughs> yeah, got your ass, Grant, didn't oh, I? Fuck. Yeah, Grant, you thought he was working at Costco? Dumbass. I worked at Costco. What? I worked there for, yeah, a long time in the food what court. What were you, a drink girl? Food court. <laughs> food court. <laughs> food court. <laughs> Dam damaging out pizza so I could go hide behind the trash can and eat it for lunch. Food court. Food, food court. court. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking around the yeah. pizza box. <laughs> oh, I fucked it up again. <laughs> you guys got time for one more? Yeah. yeah. Put, him on, put him on the horn. Let's see. How about there's someone named Alex Balls? Let's try this. Cool. That seems like a yeah. Put Mr. Balls on. Mr. Balls, your client's here to see you. <laughs> Send him in. M Mr. Balls, there's a Dr. Beetlejuice to here here to see you today. Hey, how's it going? I got some really bad news. Uh, <laughs> Would you go to a Dr. Beetlejuice? <laughs> yeah, probably. I know that'd be cool. You might want to sit down and get the test results. Uh, it's actually looking like it's spread into your lungs. So. <laughs> <laughs> but the waiting room would always be weird with those yeah. people. <laughs> Shrunken heads and everything. Casey, yeah. I was watching the People's Court last night. I've been watching a <laughs> shit ton recently. And one of the ladies, when Harvey is talking to the people out back in between on the commercial breaks, one of the ladies looks ju looked just like the shrunken head person with her hair and her head was real small. Oh, my God. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> just like it. <laughs> Divine retribution. <laughs> Alex Balls wasn't happening, but here's Marcus. Marcus Z. Marcus. Talk to us. What's Marcus. up, man? We can't hear you, Marcus. Where's your audio? Be honest with us. Yeah, you have to tell us I the truth. Hear you. Hello? Oh, there Marcus. We go. Oh, here we go. How are you, man? William, Casey. Good evening. What's up? How are you guys doing? Doing good. Just chill. Just uh it's pretty pretty nice here today. It's starting to get warm, which scares me. Mm -hmm. I think it's about to start okay. getting real hot because it's like it's real nice today, but it's kind of warm. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I it mean, scares me. There's literally not a cloud in the sky here. It's insane. But Where it's it's in Tampa, Tampa, Florida. Oh, cool. How is the? Ooh, what is that? A heat lamp light up there? What is that? Or just a red light? It's just a red light. I can change it to literally any color I want. It's ridiculous. Oh, my Ooh, God. That's cool. Do what? it on your phone. Change it to something fucked up. <laughs> yeah, can you change it on your phone? I have to get this alert mode. It's actually not as fancy as I made it sound. It's just like an array of colors. Not any color I want. I was... I was well, that's I cool, that's, and it has a remote control. Yeah. That's cooler than any of the freaking lights I have. Yes, please. That's awesome. Make it green like the Grinch. Woo. Then if I go over here, I got this one too. I mean, they're just all Brain. over the house. Oh my that's gosh, ridiculous. that's fun. Yeah, that's <laughs> fancier than any freaking lights I have. I just have the boring ass regular light bulbs. Yeah. We're in, take yourself to Target. They have them all over the place. Different size. This one's even it. 
I uh, could change that one if I want. I'm oh my gosh, the orb. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. Gorgeous. I love it. Are they all on the same remote control or are they on different remotes? Are you kidding me? I can change that guy. That one's probably not on, but I go boom here. And then if I want to change this one, I go boom there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, I'm really in control. That's sick. I'm really in control in this house. You are, yeah. I I just picture you walking in and just fucking with the lights for a while, and then fucking with them a little later on. At night, call the police. It's red. My whole house is red. It's like a dungeon. Well, that's fun, especially in Tampa. Yeah, we watched The Matrix yesterday. It was all green in here. It was incredible. Love it. What's your favorite Matrix? Just the first one? You know, I think the first one's the most important one, but I think the second one is the most fun. It's you, you know, I like I yeah. I like them both. I don't I don't really like the third. I think that was kind of a money grab. But I love Keanu, so I mean, what are you gonna do? For sure, for he sure. Can't, he can't make any mistakes. Mm-mm. Keanu, and he's supposed to be really nice. What are you drinking? A beer? Yeah, I'm having just a little Corona. Yes, you are. Woo! You know whoop, what I mean? whoop. Find what your time beach. Is it here? It's uh, three forty-three. So it sounds like a good time. Clock. You're gonna get my ass drinking a Corona after this, Marcus. You're gonna William, be the I reason wanna, I, I fucking that, start right? boozing again, yes. dude. And if what William I, does it, I do it. Have? Yeah, Casey's drinking Bianca. too. Maybe we're both fucking. If William does it, I do it. Yeah, maybe we're Me falling off the wagon. I've had these Lacroix for like a year. No one drinks them, but they've just been sitting here. Maybe you could. I, well, I would drink them because now that I'm not drinking, I am drinking a shit ton of those things. And I swear, when I was drinking, I would have never touched those. So I hear what you're saying. Now they're kind of a, they're fine. I drink them all the time, though. Whatever. Keep one on hand. If you end up in nearby, I'll just lob you and just toss one to you. <laughs> cool. Yeah, last time I lobbed a thing, it was in Florida uh, during a spring break, and it was people launching beers with the three-person catapults <laughs> just into the darkness, just full beers off of the balcony of some house. <laughs> yeah. hey, that would have killed somebody. <laughs> I have seen you throw things pretty aggressively at people. It seems dangerous, but, I mean, I, I don't. I don't complain. That's his journey, man. Yeah, it's my cross to bear. It's my journey. It's, yeah. Right, Marcus, it starts turning into this. It's a hard deal, but yeah, I mean, when I get something in my hand and I want to fucking throw it, I'm trying to, I'm I mean, trying you got, to nail people. You got a good You got a, You got got a. good form and everything. Thank you. Yeah, I used to be a pitcher. Yeah, his dad was a pitcher for Georgia Tech. Wow. Wow. Casey's I'm dad was also a left-handed you pitcher. You my, Illinois my State. best friend? Yeah, Illinois State. What? Who is your? Who's your best friend? Let's take a peek. It's a baby. Oh my gosh! It's a baby. What website do you get those on? I've seen the real lifelike baby dolls. Where did you get yours? Yeah. That was super I, lifelike. Goose we haven't. thought we were getting a dog, and then the, I mean, we thought maybe it's a hairless dog of some kind, some rare breed, but. <laughs> It turns out it's a full-grown baby. Um, you made that thing? Really? Made that thing. It yep. looks kind of like you, Marcus. What is it, a I boy mean, or a yeah. girl? It's a boy. His name is Stone. Hi, Stone. Love it. Rock. Say hi to your Uncle Casey, <laughs> Uncle William. Hello. Hello. It's awake. Oh, my gosh, sweet little Stone. <laughs> Hello, little friend. Romancing the Stone. That's a classic. He's the yes. coolest. He's the coolest. Gorgeous. Well, that's very sweet. So what did you do? Just bust up inside your <laughs> bitch? Literally just, I mean, <laughs> we, we it was 50-50. We didn't know what was going to happen. We thought maybe. She busted, you busted. You know, like we said, we thought we were going to get a dog, but right we, ended up with, with, we ended up with a little stone, and he's just so sweet. That's very nice. I love it. I love it. <laughs> that is also, a I have a cigar, kid. kind of a big cigar guy now. It's weird. I'm not really enjoying it, but I have to do it. It's just. You're a dad. I love it. Yeah, you're a dad yeah. now. Holy shit. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm we're moving. We're moving soon. Gotta get a new job and I have to pee in a cup for them. And I think if there was some weed in there, they'd be a little pissed. So I have to Yeah, yeah. You gotta do something else. For sure, for sure. Have a stogie, man. Light one up for young stone. It's a beautiful baby. Very he's a beautiful, beautiful boy, and he's just so sweet. Sometimes he yells. He actually peed on my sock earlier. <laughs> uh, he, has, he has a strong he has a strong stream i was changing his diaper almost got the diaper on but 
it just made it right over the right over the edge of the diaper and right onto my sock. So strong stream. Oh my gosh, that's funny. That's yeah. Sweet. He doesn't talk much. I asked him why he did it. He didn't really answer me. He kind of just sits there, kind of looking like this most of the time. And you know, you can't really stay mad at someone that's just so cute. Aren't you just so cute, buddy? Uncle Casey, Uncle William. Oh, <laughs> he is the sweetest. Matrix baby. Go to Jesus. Matrix baby. The yeah, first he... one born in the birth out of the Matrix. Love it. Yeah, what is the Matrix about? Heaven? No, it's just the reality. Everyone's just plugged into these little goopy pods. You're just in a <laughs> tub. You're just in a vat of goop with a bunch of cables, and you're just, like, powering the machine. And then if you get unplugged, then... You float around in a ship, and you, it's, a, it's a whole thing. Is the machine it's God? I don't think so. It's like a guy in a suit with like these sweet-ass sunglasses that can dodge bullets. It's, yeah, yeah, Grant tries to tell me it's an allegory about God, yeah. and, and it's like, dude, I don't freaking – I'm not buying that today. It's about Jesus. Yeah, it's not about <laughs> Jesus. Is Keanu not Jesus, Marcus? Little baby Jesus. That's what I thought. I, I mean, with especially now with the beard and the hair, like, I mean, he's play, he looks the part. You know what they say, if it looks like Jesus, smells like Jesus, I mean, it's, yeah. it's just easy now. <laughs> it's got to be Jesus. And he had the commercials on the Super Bowl this mm -hmm. year, which was, I thought, oh my God, nice to see. You guys are see. in the Matrix right now. Yeah, trust me. We well, all of us are. I know. We all are. Don't remind me, Marcus. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> but I, I recommend you give it a rewatch. It's nice to see, like, once a year, maybe, kind of like, you know, reminders. Yeah, I need to. It's been a little, it's been probably a year. Yeah, I normally watch it around Easter. Oh, yeah, Easter. Easter. Passion of the Christ. I remember when I was still living in L.A. getting all fucked up. I watched Passion of the Christ for the first time at, like, 5 in the morning on Easter one day. <laughs> when, yeah. uh, <laughs> he gave everything for us. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Big old uh, J.C. Big ups, J.C. You know what? That's what I'm going to – should I chug this beer for J.C.? Because I will. I swear to God. But, yes. 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 And then we're gonna chug one right after this. Yeah, if you finish that thing, we're if you back finish on. it, we're we're <clears throat> chugging one after. We're going to Chewy's. Right, gonna have go. a couple margs. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. yes! <laughs> <laughs> Down the hatch, yo. Love that. Well, Marcus, yeah. yes. Ooh, got a little belt. Mm, yeah, he's mm. gonna barf. <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> Second person today who almost vomited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and sweet little stone. Well, Marcus, wonderful to talk to you, my friend. Good luck with it's the move and your job and stuff. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. It's been an honor. It's been an honor to talk to you guys. Like I said, rewatch the Matrix soon. It's important. So cool. We'll watch S it. Sounds good. I would make a heart, but I only have one hand because I'm on the phone. So <laughs> we'll complete it for yeah, you. Yeah, we'll complete it. Oh my gosh, you guys are the best. <laughs> All right, bye. bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Stone. Very sweet. Yeah. He had a little baby and a TT on his sock earlier. <laughs> Feet on his sock. Crazy. That's funny. Oh, good for him. Cool. Well, it was fun. Thank you. Thank you, anybody for calling. And very sorry if you didn't get on today. I mean, yeah. We'll figure out a way to talk to you all pretty soon. Yeah, we'll really figure it out very soon. That was fun. Everyone was so nice. Couple people definitely drunk. Yes. Good for him. Good yeah, on Yeah, my gosh. Have fun. Let loose. Yeah. Work is crazy and you deserve it. Yeah, you're having a move. You just had stone. Drink a little beer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Red. Well, that's it. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of the William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. And never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and check him out live at the Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas every Monday night. 
Find more of me, Casey Rocket, at patreon.com slash Casey Rocket. Follow me on Instagram at Casey Rocket. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Record ATX Studios right here in the heart of Austin, Texas. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery. The anthem is sung by William Montgomery. The drums are sung by William Montgomery. The words are sung by William Montgomery. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh, who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.